Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kit Cree, aka Kit. And today we are going to be talking about the top five things that Rec Room Builders absolutely hate. Now, there is a lot of things about this game that people hate in general, considering there's a lack of Rec Room originals and five year olds screaming everywhere. But <laughs> that's besides the point, because today we're going to be talking about the top five things that Rec Room Builders hate. So let's get on with the video. For the first thing that Rec Room Builders absolutely hate, now this applies to people with bad internet, but crashing and having all your progress deleted. This is so annoying, especially because it's a very personal subject to me. <laughs> because I used to have very bad internet and I would crash every 30 minutes and I'd forget to save because I have a very bad memory and all my progress would be deleted, which is very annoying and they should really add something that you know, fixes that. I know there's a backup save type thing, but if they just kind of like every 10 minutes, like actually save the room, or if there was an option to actually do that, a lot of people would appreciate that because it's really irritating to forget to save and then have like two hours of progress just completely wiped away. Even though there is something in the settings that has you like backup save, it just doesn't work personally for me, and I don't know how to actually get it to function considering I would have done that when I had bad internet, but yeah, it's very irritating, and a lot of people can agree with me on the subject. The second thing that Rec Room players absolutely hate about building is ink usage. For example, if you use a mirror, it takes 50% of ink, which makes making hangout rooms very difficult, because people people love to look at themselves in mirrors in the VR community. This is very prevalent in VR chat, Rec Room, and really any social game in VR, but if you're trying to make a really cool hangout room with a mirror, it's really difficult because you only have 50% ink left to actually build with and it's it's very irritating but you can work around it and a lot of people have proved that but it's it's just very annoying another thing that they could add is instead of having only 100% ink they go up to 200% ink and then just have a warning on the top of a room that says warning you may crash or just something along those lines just something that lets someone know that there is a little bit more items in the room, so if their VR headset isn't capable of, you know, processing it, then there is a possibility of them crashing. But I also don't understand this, because with the new Rec Room Studio coming out, it's obviously using more ink than the average Rec Room room. So if they can pull that off, then obviously they, they can make it work, but I, I don't know, I guess I'll never get it. The third thing that Rec Room players absolutely hate about building is the fact that you can't actually sell an invention for tokens unless you have Rec Room Plus. Now, I understand this when it comes to, like, custom shirts and everything because they don't want you writing inappropriate things, which obviously kind of fixes that with, like, a paywall because you don't want to lose your money or get your account banned when you already have Rec Room Plus on it. But with inventions, you can still upload the invention for free, so it's not really solving any problem, and it's just limiting people from actually building because they aren't motivated to build unless they actually have Rec Room Plus. Unless you like selling inventions for free, but personally, I mean, who doesn't like to make at least a little bit of money off of it? And yeah, it's just very annoying, and I don't understand it, plus because there is like so many things that back up why we should be able to do it, but I know, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it, and a lot of other people don't, which is very irritating also. Shout out to the shirt. Shout out to Mike. We love we love this shirt so much. The fourth thing that Rec Room players absolutely hate about building is the fact that the menu. I just look at it. <laughs> just look at it. This this menu does not make sense at all. If you are a beginner and you are looking at this, you are not going to want to build. And I know there's tutorials on like YouTube on what everything means, but who wants to learn how to do that? I. Especially because there was a different menu, like, a year, a year or two ago. Everybody had to get used to this new menu, and it's so irritating because there's... no Nobody gets this. Like, all these drop-down menus, what do half of these things do? Unless you know exactly what you're doing, or if you've, like, studied the freaking Maker Pen, you're not gonna know what to do. But it does take a little while. Not very beginner-friendly, but if you do try to learn what everything means you should be able to figure it out plus just the layout itself is kind of you know goofy you can watch slats videos on that because he mentioned how it all just sucks you have to you have to hit like 10 times more buttons to actually do what you used to do in one or two buttons 
But yeah, it's very, very stupid. They should have just left with the same old menu before because it was literally just like pulled up on the watch and it would be like right in front of you. But yeah, it's very irritating and a lot of people can agree with me on that. The fifth and final thing that everybody hates about building in Rec Room is building with like building groups in general. If you're working with a bad group, your ideas will not come to life. For example, if you have something on your mind and you want to create it, if you have a group of friends that are willing to help you with it, then sure, go ahead. You can make a room with them. It'll probably be fine. But if you have just a random group of people that you know how to build but don't really care about your ideas as much, it'll more than likely turn into something completely different, which is still cool because it'll look great. But it's just your ideas won't come to life and yeah, you gotta have good communication while building, otherwise it really will not turn out how you want it to, and it's very, very frustrating to deal with, I'll say that <laughs> in the least, but yeah, so I really recommend getting a good group that you know knows how to build and you're willing to work with, because otherwise you might not have the best of time and building might honestly drift away from you. This is why I am a solo builder. I built this dorm, by the way. Um, I did have some help from my friends but yeah it will be available and it will be cheap soon i'm still working on it but all the clips have been recorded in this actual dorm so if you want to add me on rec room at kickcree um it will be available sometime but yes i also make shirts and i have like a lot so if you want to check that out you can go ahead so we have this room this room it is my first build which is a hangout room um it's supposed to represent just kind of your average bedroom it has a mirror and a drawing canvas if you feel like checking it out plus some of my extra shirts are on the wall so yeah make sure to check that out if you want we have this one and then this one which is named cram city bedroom this one is honestly my favorite um it's another hangout room i specialize in hangout rooms which is why 50 percent ink on the you know mirrors kind of pisses me off but <laughs> Yeah, so we have this room. It is just a kind of small bedroom, hence the cramped city bedroom. There's a little view out if you want to see that, and another drawing board. So make sure to check that out. And finally, we have this is currently still in the making. Um, it is a kind of winter themed art map. There's going to be multiple canvases around the area if you want to check it out after it's published. Probably going to take a couple more weeks considering if I make the inside a sub room or not. But yeah, it's basically just like an art map where you can hang out with your friends. There's a little questionnaire thing around the, um, what's it called? <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Campfire, that's what it's called. Um, yes, yeah, so there's going to be a little questionnaire around there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you think there's anything I missed, because I know there is a lot of things that people don't like about building in Rec Room. Or if you want to just say things that you don't like about the game in general, go ahead and rant a little bit. But yeah, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye!